five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots Crazy fight. Go. Very quick off the bat from uh, Waddle's minibot. Big hit from Ares. Sends Waddle's flying and the weapon is immediately down. Ares has a good flame going, but is pinned currently by Waddle's uh, cam lifting second half. This flamethrower minibot from Team MIT is looking very good. Going head to head with its cam lifter uh, opponents. Now they have not fought since April. In April, this ended in a knockout loop. I don't think it's going to turn out quite the same way. This is a very different fight dynamic than we saw in the past. The undercutter on Waddles has been down since that very first hit, and I think that weapon is dead. I would agree with you, but I'm really impressed. Look at the control that Waddles is able to bring to the arena right. Look at that! He has pinned Ares in the corner. He is stuck. He's going to either need an unstick or to need to use a, uh, a mini bot to free it. Uh, that is incredibly. He's, he's used an unstick. Wow. Wow. That is really hard to do with an undercutter spinner. Yeah, the, uh, the designers here on Ares from Team MIT, they are cursing their angles here for this design. Unable to self-fright themselves. And Waddles there pushing look, them look up against this. the rail one more time. They're out of saves. Will this be it? I don't think so. No, it is free again. Those uh, multi-bot segments coming in clutch to free the other, their uh, larger halves, let's call them. But still, the control that is being shown right now from Waddles at Ares is incredible. Now this feels like an upset, even though these are two pretty evenly matched robots. Ares just came in with so much momentum this season. They're 60 seconds away here from the end of this match. But Ares really needs to get back on its feet quickly and rack up some points. Now I'll add a little to the peculiarity of the rules here. When you have a weapon that is down, the way that Waddle's weapon is down, uh, you can still score aggression by trying to attack with what's left of your weapon, even if it's not functioning. So it has been going face first into Ares this entire match. That's going to show a good bit of aggression, even though the weapon is down, while normally we require an active weapon to be part of your aggression. And Waddle's would desperately love to push Ares up onto that rail if they could. Look at this. seconds left. They're running out of chances. Flamethrower going for a little ride there. This could be the end of the season for Team MIT. Their, their, their fate here now it just sits Look, in the hands of the judges as we enter the last 10 seconds of this Waddles match. Waddles ending this on a decisive pin. They could not have done a better control match if they were built as control bots. Let's go! Wait, dude, Incredible. Peak driver, best driver. Woo! We All have right, a judge's gentlemen. decision, Kyle. What do we got? What do we got? And here it is. Waddles is taking it over Aries by a unanimous judge's decision. Yeah, by a large margin as well. No surprise there. That driving clinic by Connor Howard at the end was absolutely decisive for those judges. <laughs> I am sure of it. Really beautiful work. Yeah.